Hello all, Seriously is here, back for some more Astroneer, and what are we going to do today? First of all, let's see what's in the backpack. I'm carrying some ammonium, some ammonia. We're going to go unlock some stuff on, oh, I can't even remember where, Glacio. Let's go there right away, Let's before I forget, you know what, no, no, I've said it, I won't forget now. First things first, uh, I got a comment from KJBC Gaming who said she'd like to see the big craft unlocked and I cannot argue with that I would also like to see the big uh, large rover the large rover multi-utility vehicle we got tons of bites why not buy it we need to make more purchases for this mission here done uh, anything else we can unlock for it a large shuttle um, I don't necessarily need that yet I could upgrade to that. It is only 5,000 bytes. I'll hold off on that one for now. Uh, anything else to go with it? Figurine platform, extra large storage. This is all from the large printer, so this might not just go with the vehicle. In fact, why don't I check here? There's some gray stuff. Wide mod, narrow mod, inhibitor mod, drill mod. Okay, oh, the probe scanner. I did look up some stuff for the probe scanner. Okay, uh, oh, I didn't learn the blueprint for these. I only got them as a reward. Interesting. Aluminum alloy for these, to make these, provides 50 boosts. There's the quantity right there. Consumes hydrazine as fuel. 15,000 bytes. Woo, okay, hmm. Yeah, as you can see, if we back out of this menu, go into the backpack, I'm down to one of three purple bars. So I've got whatever a third of 50 is, I guess, uh, left in boosts. Uh, the thing that I did look up with this here, the probe scanner, is basically how it works. It consumes power as it's being used. Uh, if we back out here, it should give us a one to three button here. These uh, things that light up, there's three of them. Uh, if we're close, it should be three that light up. If we're far away, it should be one, I think. And every planet does have an item to find, and it is going to be something similar to the Lunar Lander module. Uh, Husker Pupper also commented on the video and let me know about that as well. Unfortunately, I'd already looked that part up, but he did let me know that I need to head back to Aatrox and check on my gas production to make sure that I'm actually harvesting uh, multiple containers, you know, into the container, not just the one thing of five. So we're going to do that as well. So we got to hit the road. I've packed up a couple things. We're going to go to Aatrox, right? So I'm going to build this large platform B. I'm going to build another RTG there. And that's it for that. Uh, you know what? I should, while I'm there, let's head there now, right away. First things first. We will go to Aatrox. Launch. Because I would also like to switch from methane. If we've got five, five is good enough for the moment. Where's, where are we going? There we go. Yeah. Uh, because Aatrox can also produce sulfur, and I'm going to need sulfur for dynamite for another mission. I don't know how to do it yet, but I might need the dynamite in order to see the thing that I'm supposed to see. I don't know. We'll find out. Where are the landing sites? Hard to see on this cloudy Aatrox planet. Here we go. Coming up. Let's see. Let's see how the gas is doing. Let's get these things. Oops, no, that was close. Almost launched into orbit again. Uh, five out of 50. Yeah, this is not automatically filling. So let's go to this, turn that on. There we go. That was the button we needed to hit. However, <laughs> Uh, I think what I would like to do <coughs> is turn this to sulfur and make some sulfur while we're here. Uh, okay, so I don't know how long that's going to take to set up, but while it is setting up, we can put this on our new thing too. 
Uh, we can maybe bring this one back with us. We'll see. Let's unpack you a little bit further away. There we go. <coughs> so we can hook you up with the cable. There we are. Go into the backpack. And we're going to hook you up there for now. Because you fit there. Uh, no, you I'm going to take back with us to the main base. I don't know where I want that, but not here. Because that takes resources. And we don't need resources. We need, uh, on this planet, we need gas storage. We might eventually want, oh wow, this uh, sulfur fills up pretty quick. That's nice, I like that. It's good that we got all this power. Oh, you know what's happening is probably this thing is full. Yeah, that's what's happening. I can't, uh, I can't produce any more gas of uh, the helium variety. So I'm, all my power is going to this one right here, which is really cool, it's red. That's my first sulfur. Uh, whoops, no. Let's go back in and we'll make five more because it's so fast, we'll bring it with us. Then we will set it back to methane and we will let this fill up. <clears throat> okay. Uh, is that everything we wanted to set up here? Yes, these, the ammonium is for, oh, hey, there's tethers. Uh, I must have picked those up in my explorations on Silva. No, I, I do want to put this there. I want to rotate it. There we go. Okay, I guess we can put some more tethers down. Let's head to the end of the road here and just add these tethers to wherever we went. Maybe we'll find a research item to bring back. We've gone a long way. Looks like we split up in a couple directions. Let's head this way this time. Mm, that's a pretty big crevasse. Maybe we should go around it. Okay. I'm stuck. <laughs> there we go. What do we have on there? A wind turbine, huh? Okay, well, let's take that with us. We don't have a lot of wind here, but there's apparently some because it was spinning. Boop. The rest is debris, I bet. Check the backpack. How many tethers? Three more tethers. Anything else we can see in range? Mm, no, nothing in specific. There's like a plant there. All right. Let's go. Tether. 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 And that's the last tether. Now, what? This is a resource thing as well. Now, here's what I found on uh, Glacia, where we want to go. What you do for these, uh, no, we want the gun, let's dig this out a little bit. It has a node here and you can put a resource on it. So what you do, uh, you go into your backpack and you don't suffocate by turning on your portable oxygenator. <laughs> then you go to your menu, go to your resource astropedia, and you are looking for the same symbol that we saw on that container. Was it ammonium? No, it was similar to ammonium, but not. Hydrogen. Or helium. It's one of those two. It's helium. We need to put some helium on here. And you know what? We have a source of helium. So let's go do this. Let's let's grab some of that. We can follow this back here, right? Oh, you know what? Let's get rid of that. That's a problem. <laughs> put that away. Uh, we shouldn't suffocate now that we're in tether range. We can turn this off again. There we go. Get our power back. Oh, you know what? Speaking of getting our power back, let's get rid of that. Oh, I just died. That's the first time I died. All right, let's see what happens when you die. Oh, that, that's the wrong button. Okay, uh, what, what we want to do is... Uh, no. Yep, go here. No. <laughs> Hopefully, whatever was highlighting as my corpse isn't gone. Okay, no, I see two markers still. That's good. We'll land back at the base. We'll not press the wrong button. 
I wish I could... Or maybe I can remap those. I should look into that, maybe. But I do not like uh, launch and get out being directly beside each other. Okay. Yeah, we lost all of our equipment. We definitely need to follow these tethers. It's a good thing we have these tethers. Yeah, the gun doesn't even have any of its stuff on it. <sighs> Plants, I tell ya. Okay, we're almost there. Did we get the plant? Hmm. Whatever. There we go. And that's a permanent marker of my failure. <laughs> Okay, so let's get the gun equipped back again. Uh, boost mod, soil, and uh, where's my other connector? Oh, up top, there we go, sure, why not? Uh, that I had over there and that I had there, I think, something like that, just so I remember. Shouldn't need that on, I've got oxygen. Oh, hey, the backpack disappeared. Good. It's not a permanent marker of my failure. The plant is dead, and it left us some research, so we will dig it out and take it back with us as a trophy of our failure. <laughs> okay. So that should have collected our gas by now. Uh, we can go a little bit faster with a bit of a shuffle there. We just don't want to fall and lose this thing to a slide down one of those crevasses. And uh, we'll turn our thing back to methane and set it up to make sure the thing fills up. That'll be plenty of gas for now. We could even turn the other one to sulfur. We don't have another medium gas canister here. I should have brought that with me. I do have one built. Could have brought that along. Set it up on the other side of this thing, right? Have two of them hooked up there, boom. Oh, see, look, it's gonna fill up gas to that now. Okay, well, you come back with us on the ship. Thank you. You can go in my backpack. You, we are going to change back to methane. We're going to turn that on and hit go. And it should automatically go into here because it is holding methane. 10 of six, 160. Okay, perfect. Now, Let's do that other thing and grab this and follow the chain back to that. Uh, which one did we take? Uh, uh, <laughs> I think it was, I think it was this one. Let's not die again. Watch out for plants. So maybe I don't need this ammonia because ammonia was what I needed on Glacio, but we are not on Glacio and it looks like helium, which you get here, is what is needed here. It might not be for every one of these, it might just be for some. Okay. So we're running out of air here, so let's quickly do this. Helium, plug it in there. And it took the whole container of five, but we got it. And we got one of these, which is just a research item, but look, it's a science techie research item. And these are worth a ton of research. Oh, that's a cave apparently. So we're gonna bring this one back with us as well. And we're gonna compare the two when we get back to base and see what they're both worth. Uh, this will probably be about 7,000. The other one may be 3,000 if we're lucky. All right, let's take the shortcut back, the direct route. Yeah, we had lots of oxygen. Don't need to worry about that oxygen. Not yet. Plants, I got to worry about. 
Well, I'm happy that the death uh, conditions are not too punishing in the game. That's very nice to find out. You do lose everything you're carrying unless you go and get it back, but uh, that's not too tricky usually. All right, we're full up there. Uh, this, let's examine. Yeah, it is on endless cycle, but uh, we don't have too many more slots to fill up for this thing, do we? Where else is it gonna end up going? can't end up on here, can it? I don't know. I don't think so. All right. Well, we'll find out when we get back here next time. Now, now we want to launch. And we do have to go back to Silva first. So we're, we lost maybe a bit of fuel here. I don't know if that extra launch cost us fuel or not. I wasn't paying attention. I got plenty of hydrazine, lots of ammonia to make more back at home. Okay, we're going to head there after. Silva is where we want to go first directly through a planet. All right, where are the bases at on this planet? Speed up a little bit. I guess we're at maximum speed. Get the feeling they're gonna be on the right-hand side somewhere. There they are. So let's put this research in see what we got. Research item. Click. Examine. Yeah, that's worth 3200 What is this worth? $8,000. 8, yeah, much better haul on that. Uh, let's unload this. We will still need it eventually, but let's put it with the other storage items. We can we can do some organization with these. That's what they're for, really. Uh, instead of putting everything on this stuff, I was planning on putting them all into containers. Uh, but we'll get to that. Uh, that's not what we're going to do today. Uh, I'm going to drop off this. We have a little bit more wind power here. I have a bit more gas. I can drop off that on the gas containers. There's a slot for the wind power. I thought I grabbed more than just five sulfur. Oh, is some on the ship? No, I must have left it at the base. All right, well, five will do. I don't need to build that much dynamite. I just need to build some. So, maybe I lost it in the explosion, in the plant death. Was I carrying the sulfur when I died? It's not on the gun, is it? No. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Lots of research. So we got the large rover. Let's try to build that. We've got some time. It is a large printer item. Auto extractor is what we built last. Large rover. We need one rubber one aluminum alloy and two exo chips so what <laughs> okay what's an exo chip and how do i make that uh, is it something we can research hmm it's not on our smallest printer So chip, huh? Some more platforms, some more storage. Actually, it looks like we got the storages. Winch, that looks cool. Paver, oh, I want to get that. I'm going to buy that right away. That's going to go on the front of the Exocraft. Uh, drill strength, can get that. All that stuff. Okay, you know what? Maybe I should check the missions, because Exo chip does exo something so oh wait oh oh no exo request platform doesn't look like it's something i can buy yeah okay let's back out of here let's check the mission platform ah wrong button also the wrong button 
Uh, okay, cracking caches. Find and explode an exo cache. Oh, okay. Use our compass, and the reward is three exo chips. Okay, so I definitely want to do this. So I need dynamite. Okay, so we gotta make some dynamite. Uh, find and use a compass to locate an exo cache. Uh, all right. Well, let's let's track this. Uh, click. So we need dynamite. Let's head over to this thing and see what we can make with that sulfur. Oh, what did we lose? Ah, ah, ah. Let me pick up. Thank you. You can go right there. It was probably helium. Sulfur makes explosive powder, and we need two carbons. Okay, so sulfur, you go on. Let's go find some carbon. There should be some on here. Just the one. Okay, we needed two. We are going to need some uh, organic soon. We're down to 15. Probably gonna pop up right where it was in the back there. Oh no, over here. Okay, cool. Let me pick you up. Thank you. Chemistry lab. Explosive powder. Let's make some of that. Now, where do we make dynamite at? In our backpack, probably, of all places. Small wind turbine. Dynamite. We need. And explosive powder. Okay, and that did not use up all our sulfur. That's great. Ooh, red. So, go to the backpack. Craft that. We're going to find out how dynamite works and hopefully not die again. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's take... No, you. You. There we go. Go back into here and make another one while we're here. May as well. Uh, something else I'll show you. We did between episodes. I cleaned up all of those thrusters. The old thrusters all got scrapped. Lots of scrap to turn into stuff if we need to. Uh, pick up that. And we'll go back into here. And I don't know that we need to make another dynamite yet. So let's actually just put you here for now. Now, let's do that compass thing. Uh, we are tracking that mission. So it says to use the compass. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw this green marker earlier, and I tried to dig it out. I don't know what this is. Is this an eco-cache? Uh, I don't know. It sort of looks like the chip icon, but like a 3D, 3-cube three one. It might be... Like, I didn't find anything here. Do I just... How do I use this? Uh, let me hold F. Do I put it on? Hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, is that, uh, okay, a little more land, I think. Oh, oh. Don't fall to death. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. All right, am I using my oxygen? Yeah. Uh, actually, let's not. Let's just suffocate for a minute. We'll pull the tool out, and we'll make a tunnel back up or a pathway back up. That's not a good angle. Where's a good angle? Good enough. Something we can climb. There we go, now we're connected to uh, the above oxygen. Let's finish digging my way out, maybe. There we go. Okay, so dynamite is a one-time use, and it didn't do anything there. Let's bring that radar back out. Uh, what is with the camera angle for a second there? Must be this ground. Um, I got an idea. Oop, there we go. <laughs> okay. It says we're right on top of this thing, like right now, but 
we dug down pretty deep there and I didn't find anything. Do we have to go down even further? Is that what that, that is? Now I have two missions that I need to look up. Should we try, should we try to use the scanner to find a probe instead? It seems like both of these are really challenging things and I'm probably gonna have to spend a lot of time off camera doing them. Or at least looking a couple of things up because I do not know how to dynamite this thing. It looks like we're gonna need more dynamite. Let, let's put that thing in and make some more dynamite at least. That's a given. Uh, backpack. Making dynamite. Hard to see with that radar on. Yeah, it's not really giving me a clear indication of what an eco... Can I check the Astropedia? Is there an Astropedia for symbols? Tutorials on research power creative... No? Hmm? Direction... Hmm... No. Doesn't seem to be what I need. Uh, let me go back to here and the mission log. See, it sort of looks like this as a 3D symbol, that green thing. Use your compass to locate an exocache and destroy it with dynamite exocache. Is that just any of those things? Is that these things? Are these echo caches? Okay, well, we got a couple of minutes. What we're gonna do, um, let's take this and you know what? Let's scrap that. We don't need that extra light that I found. Sure, we'll put you in the big one. I don't care. <laughs> um, we don't have any more QT RTGs. Let's put you on. No on the vehicle please there we go let's hop into the vehicle and let's go for a stroll until we see one of those things and try to blow it up i guess exocache there's probably some downstairs if you know what i mean down in the caves we could do that, we could head to one of them, but there's probably some out in the wild here on the surface. And I could also activate the scanner. Let's head uh, over to this mountain here and activate the scanner. Oh, I've been to this mountain. This is where I w activated the scanner last time, so let's ignore this mountain then. Actually, you know what, let's activate the scanner over here while we're here. And take a look and see what it tells us. Let's hop out. Boop. Go into the backpack and actually let's not hit the backpack. Let's hit that. Okay. Uh, it looks like it's hovering in two dots when it blinks, but maybe one and a half, two dots. Maybe a low. And it's telling me to head back towards the base, it looks like. Okay. So that's neat. So I do understand how it works better now. I can probably use that to narrow down. Yeah, I was pointing right back towards. Maybe it's on the opposite side of the base. Anyway, I want to find one of those caches. That's what I'm trying to do at the moment. What is that? No, that's just some debris. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Just debris as well. Can I get that thing out of it? Hmm. No? I can see a wind turbine in there. There we go. Oh, I can't grab it. Why not? Hmm. Do I have to dig this thing out? Yeah, that, that was it. Okay, neat. Uh, no, you come with me and you can go onto the vehicle because why not? No, I don't need the debris. That was not the thing I was looking for. Exocache. Gotta be something around here somewhere. There's some more debris. 
Nothing for me to grab on that one. I must have been there already. Oh, don't fall in the hole. All right. Well, I'm going to have to do some, uh, some fooling around between episodes to figure out what I'm supposed to do about blowing up that uh, exocache. Oh, there's one. That, that, that's what I'm looking for. Right, don't fall in the hole. Don't fall in the hole. What? Wow, that was a weird hole. Okay. Is this an exocache, and can I blow it up with dynamite? Looks like it's looking for graphite or something like that. Exodynamics Research Aid. So this is not an exocache. What resource is it looking for? It's not ammonium, which I'm carrying. Hmm. Hmm. Darn. Okay. Well, at least that answers my question about whether or not that's what we needed to find. It's not. <sighs> that's frustrating. Yeah. I, uh, I wish this was more intuitive. More obvious. Oh, I think I've been here before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a big chasm. There is a big chasm there. I got one of those green kryptonite looking research things down there at one point and yeah I filled in this territory I know where I'm at the base is on the other side of this forest here yeah I can see the marker let's see if I can get between these trees and then we'll end off the episode when I'm back at base Whee! oh what do we got there anything to grab oh a hole not to fall in uh, no, just looks like a power cell. I do not want a power cell. I want to go over these rocks all bumpy-like and uh, flip myself over. Thank you. Okay, almost home. Woo! Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's a big hole. Uh, can I drive out of this thing? No, not without using the uh, terrain tool. Okay, well, I'm going to hop out. Use up all of my oxygen to get out of here. <laughs> oh, I've got oxygen with the tether. I can just use the terrain tool to, uh, to flatten this out. Let's uh, just dig like that. There we go. Yeah, something like that. And then I'll just smooth it out with this, maybe. There we go. Easy as high. I should... <laughs> uh, yeah, I should really seal that back up because I'm probably going to fall in that again later. Alright, almost home. Woohoo! Wow, that thing can get some air. Oh, I don't know if I've shown these off. I found these in the caves of DeSolo. Uh, and I can't remember which planet this one was on, Lapis Rook, but there's some chess pieces. Pawn, Queen, Rook. Uh, can we make chess boards? That'd be cool. Uh, I'm interested. <laughs> I do enjoy chess. Looks like we're not going to be able to build the big rover today. Sorry, KJ. That's more advanced than I can do, apparently. I do not know how to get exochips. Uh, I'll have to look into it. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, and until next time, everyone. Have a good time.